Hi students, in this class we are going to learn about internal field. So, first what is an internal field or internal electric field? The electric field which is responsible for polarizing a molecule of a dielectric is called internal field or it is also called molecular field or also called local field. So, if you go to if you take a dielectric material in the dielectric materials there are made up of di dielectrics are made up of atoms and molecules. So, these atoms and molecules not only experience the external electric field they experience some more electric fields those electric fields are produced by induced charges produced by induced charges and also the dipoles inside the dielectric. So, the resultant of the electric field means the total electric field which is responsible to polarize a molecule. So, the sum of all electric fields which are useful to polarizing a molecule of a dielectric is called as a local field or also called as a internal field. So, this method was derived by using a Lorentz. So, we are we are deriving the local field by using Lorentz method. In this Lorentz method, we will consider a dielectric material. So, this is a dielectric material and now this dielectric material is placed between the two capacitor plate. One is a positively charged plate and other is a negatively charged plate. Now, the external electric field direction is from positive to negative. Now, now not only the now we will consider one molecule at the center of the dielectric medium. Now, at a point A, we will consider one, one molecule at the center of A, at a, at a point A one molecule is there. Now, how many fields are acting at, at A uh, for polarizing that molecule at which is at a point A. So, one you can observe in the figure the one is at external electric field this E 1 we can consider this one is a E 1 and E 1 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a capacitor plate and the second one is the E 2 E 2 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a dielectric these are the induced charges these are the induced charges and we will consider one more spherical surface inside the sphere inside the dielectric material. Now, on the spherical surface also some positive and negative charges are induced. Now, the electric field due to these charges is called as a E 3 electric field. Now, so and one more electric field is acting at A that is because of the dipoles inside. So, because of these dipoles also one more electric field is acting that is called E 4. So, total 4 number of electric fields are acting on a molecule A on a molecule which is present at A. So, the resultant of all these electric fields is called as a local field. So, that is E i, E i means internal electric field E i is sum of E 1 plus E 2 plus E 3 plus E 4. So, E 1 already we discussed E 1 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a capacitor plate and what is E 2? E 2 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a uh, due to um, induced charges on the surface of a dielectric material and E 3 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a sphere, E 4 is the electric field due to electric field due to the dipoles inside the spherical surface. So, total 4 electric fields are acting on a molecule. So, here we wrote like where E 1 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a capacitor plate with no dielectric medium. According to Gauss law, we, derive, we can derive this one as a E 1 is equal to rho by rho means surface charge density rho is equal to you can write Q by A. So, E 1 is equal to rho by epsilon naught and what is E 2 is the electric field at A due to polarizing charges on the plane surface of a dielectric material nothing but. So, the expression for E 2 is equal to E 2 is equal to minus rho p rho p means surface charge density due to polarizing charges and negative sign is because this E 2 is opposite direction of E 1. Now, E 3 is the field at A due to polarizing charges on the surface of a spherical cavity. So, now we have to calculate E 3. So, to calculate E 3, so we will consider that spherical region what is the what we are considering a spherical region inside the dielectric material that spherical region here we consider and this side of the sphere we have positive charges and this side of sphere we have negative charges and we are considering a small area d s on that sphere. So, this is the small area d s this d s area is making angular width d theta at the center and it is making theta angle with the external field direction. Now, we have to calculate how much electric field 
for this uh, due to the charge on that surface. So, this we are considering d s area, this d s area contain d q charge. Now, the electric field intensity due to a point charge, the electric field intensity due to a point charge d q is, is equal to d e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught d q by r square. Now, this d e is in the direction of in this direction, d e is in this direction which is making theta angle with the horizontal direction. So, now we have to resolve d e into two components, the one is d e cos theta and another polarization is also making theta angle with the external field direction. So, that is p cos theta. So, the component of the electric field, now the external electric field is in this direction, our electric field is in this direction means it is making theta angle with the external field. So, this is d e and now we resolve the d e into two components and polarization is also making theta angle. So, we resolve d e and p into two components, the one is d e cos theta and the other one is p cos theta. So, now this expression become now the electric field which is in the direction of electric external electric field is d e 3, d e 3 is equal to d e cos theta we can write. So, we know that d e substitute d e here. Now, we will get d e 3 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught d q by r square into cos theta. Now, we have to calculate what is d q. So, according to the definition of polarization d q is equal to d q is equal to is a product of polarization into area d s because we know that polarization is equal to dipole moment per unit volume. Dipole moment can be written as one of the charge into distance between two charges, volume can be written as area into length. So, we can calculate cancel r and r, you can write polarization is equal to charge per area. So, here it is a dq and area is d s. So, d p is equal to d q by d s from this d q is equal to p into d s. Now, I will erase this one. So, polarization according to the definition of polarization according to the definition according to the definition of polarization d q is equal to polarization into area of that surface. So, polarization already we know that we divided the polar we, we by resolving the polarization we get p value as a p cos theta. So, d q is equal to p cos theta into d s. Now, you saw d s to calculate the area d s now here the sphere here the sphere is like this and uh, we are considering small area d s now just cut the sphere like this cut the sphere like this here we will get a and here we will get p q r now we have to calculate this area so the formula for this area is d s is equal to 2 pi into width of uh, radius of that sphere, radius of that spherical part p q and uh, p q and uh, width of that uh, ring means we are cutting this one by cutting you will get like this. It is just like if you cut onion slice it will just like this. Now, from the center it is radius here it is p and it is q and this width is r. So, 2 pi into radius of that part slice and width of the slice is q r q r. Now, what is a p q from the triangle from the triangle a p q. So, where is a a is here a p q from this triangle. So, you can also get here from the triangle a p q theta is there. So, sin theta will calculate sin theta is equal to from the triangle sin theta is equal to opposite side of that one. So, opposite side of the theta is q p q p by hypotenuse a q. So, sin theta is equal to p q by a q a q nothing but radius a q are nothing but radius of that sphere radius of that part radius of the sphere. So, from this we will get p q by r we will get. So, from this we will get p q is equal to 
r sin theta p q is equal to r sin theta. Now, from the rector sector sorry it is a sector from the sector a r q we are considering this sector a q r e sector from this sector a q r we know that if you take a sector it is like this a q r and here angle is theta. So, sorry here the angle is d theta. So, d theta is equal to opposite side of the d theta is q r q r by radius of the sector is r is r. So, from this sector d q r is equal to r d theta. So, now we derive the these two values one is q r value and other is p q value substitute these two value in d s. So, we will get d s is equal to 2 pi into p q value is r sin theta r sin theta and q r value is r d theta. So, the value of d s is equal to 2 pi into 2 pi r square sin theta into d theta. So, substitute this d s value in d q already we know that the value expression for the d q. So, this is the d q. So, we have to substitute d s value here and we know the p cos theta here. So, substitute d q. So, d q is equal to p cos theta into and d s value is 2 pi r square sin theta into d theta. So, now we will substitute this d q value in d e 3 equation. Now, we will substitute d q value here, d q value we will substitute here. So, d e 3 value is d e 3 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught d q by r square into cos theta. Now, substitute this d q value here. So, d e 3 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and d q value is p 2 sorry you can simplify this one. It says 2 pi p r square sin theta already one more cos theta is there. So, cos theta is there. So, substitute that one 2 pi r square p cos theta is there. So, we will get cos square theta by r square into d theta. Now, this is a d 3 is the electric field due to small area d s. Now, I want to calculate d, d e 3 for entire sphere I want to calculate. So, for that word the total electric field which is uh, because of the charges on the surface of a sphere e 3 is integral of d e 3. Now, you have to integrate from 180 degrees nothing but 0 to pi we have to integrate. So, substitute this d e 3 value here there we will get. So, and we can cancel r square here, r square here and pi value here, pi value here 2 2 are 4. So, simply the constant which is not respond, which is not um, required for integration is p by 2 epsilon naught into remaining integral is 0 to pi sin theta cos square theta into d theta. Now, we have to solve this integration. So, by solving the integration the value of this integration is p by sorry by solving this integration we will get 2 by 3. Now, substitute value here. So, we will get e 3 is equal to p by 2 epsilon naught into 2 by 3. So, 2 value 2 value get cancelled you will get e 3 is equal to p by 3 epsilon naught. So, this is the required expression for the electric field E 3. E 3 is the electric field due to charges on the surface of a sphere. So, we calculated E 3 here. So, next one is E 4. E 4 is the electric field at A due to dipoles inside the spherical cavity and all the dipoles inside the spherical cavity they are oriented in different directions and they are oriented randomly. So, if because they are oriented randomly the resultant electric field is 0 nothing but E 4 is 0. 
Now substitute the values of E1, E2, E3 and E4 here. You will get rho by epsilon naught, sorry, sigma by epsilon naught, minus sigma p by epsilon naught plus p by 3 epsilon naught. So, we will consider this part as a capital E. So, nothing but E i is equal to E plus p by 3 epsilon naught. So, this is the required expression for the local field or also called Lorentz field 